must be asleep. The lights are all out. Cried herself off to sleep, I wouldn't wonder. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. She thought of tight at all. When's the funeral going to be? Less than they find the bodies by Monday night. They'll give it in the church Tuesday morning. We must not feel that these boys have gone from us forever, but rather let us feel they are with us this morning and understand what we are feeling. These boys were loved by all of us. They filled a place in our hearts that can never be taken by others. Not one of us, but will be a better man or woman for the example they set us. In their two brief lives of generosity and kindness, of thoughtfulness and love, they have given promise of following fine and noble careers, of becoming men that would be a credit to this city and this country. But alas, this glorious and shining future that seemed so certain was not to be. Tom Sawyer endeared himself to all of us. We were charmed by his modesty, his good manners, and his kindly nature. Joy Hopper was a boy that all of us had come to know and love. Now his winning smile shall be seen no more. His gay laugh is hushed forever. The fine, upstanding man that he gave promise of being will never grace this earth. The third boy was known to all of us as Huckleberry Finn. He was a child of nature, untutored, and yet we have all of us felt that his heart must be a heart of gold. We shall regret that he has gone. We will all miss him. These are the three that perished in the untimely manner in the cruel waters of the great river. We are left desolate to mourn their loss, but for the sake of their memories, let us rejoice that they have passed far from the strife and toil of this, this, It's them. They ain't dead. Well, look, it's Tom Sawyer. Oh, Tom, you see what I see? Tom! Joey! <laughs> oh, Tom, we made sure you were dead. Oh, Joey, Joey, are you all right? Are you? Poor oh, boy, isn't there anyone here to make over yet? Uh, I just come along. I... Tom Sawyer, where on earth have you boys been? What's happened to you? We were just playing fire damp, Polly, and... You, uh, what? <laughs> you poor motherless child. But we were just having fun. Fun? Say it, pirate. Just wait till I get you home, young man. But Aunt Polly... <laughs> Did she win you? Yeah. Sit down. Let's go down by the river. The way the preacher was talking about us, I never thought you'd ever get a whaling again, no matter what you'd done. Me too. That's just the way they say if you're dead. I used to wish sometimes that Pap would get sober so it could be like folks to me. But I don't know. You're better off. Maybe you're right. I couldn't say, Mr. Demi. For the life of me, I couldn't. My head just seems to go round and round every time I try to think. 
Have you any recollection of what happened? Right, Mr. Demi. I, I've been a peaceful man all my life. I, I don't know how I come to do such a thing. But, but I must have done it. The doctor's dead. And the only one who knows anything about it is Injun Joe. And he says it was me. You reckon Muff Potter will come back and hand us after they hang him? He don't know we saw it. He don't know now. But when he gets to be a ghost, he can come right inside our heads, maybe. And listen to what we were thinking about. How can a ghost get in your head? They get in funny places. We don't dare tell. You can't go back on it when you rid it in blood. You'd rot. Mr. Deming. Why, hello, Tom. Hello, Huckleberry. Well, Tom, what is it? You're the lawman from Muff Potter, ain't you? I'm representing him, yes. If you write it in blood, do you rot, do you? What are you talking about? You see, it's... But we don't dare tell because we're scared we'll rot. Something you want to tell me? What about? About Muff Potter. We dare do it because we wrote it in blood. About Muff Potter? Tell me, Tom. What is this you wrote in blood? You know, if you got warts and you take a dead cat and you go to the graveyard long about midnight where somebody wicked's been buried. You say when you met Huckleberry Finn, he had a dead cat. I take your honor. A dead cat is irrelevant and immaterial. <laughs> <laughs> this dead cat in question has a direct bearing upon the matter before the court and either the guilt or innocence of Muck Potter. And if I may be permitted to guide Master Tom Sawyer in the relating of this story... You may proceed. Uh, why did Huckleberry Finn keep this dead cat, Tom? We was going to cure our warts with him. It, it's better than spunk water. <laughs> <laughs> Order in the court. <laughs> 